Happy Sunday, everybody. Welcome to Rapid Updates. This is where you get quick bite size updates on Iraq or whatever the topic is for this video. If you want to learn more about why I make these videos the way I do, read down below and then go watch the Rapid Updates welcome introduction to hear my story. I'm all about more news and less BS in rapid form. You like that? I've heard a lot of comments from you guys that you enjoy it. You reached out to me. I really appreciate it. So the way you can just let me know is by giving me a thumbs up, sharing this content, commenting below. Let's jump into Iraq. So currently the time is 9 46 p.m. out there in Baghdad today's date February 28th the weather is 59 degrees over there just a little reminder that it that Iraq is still an unstable region unfortunately they're doing the best they can as you can see here in this headline and we have the Pope visiting soon and that is still on schedule for his arrival the foreign minister went to Tehran to visit says here we will not allow the recent events to be used to undermine the relationship between Baghdad and Tehran. And they're talking about the airstrikes from the U.S. here in the last 48 hours over in Syria. Again, I'm just hitting the headlines here, okay? Iran rejects a proposal to hold an informal meeting with America and three European countries regarding the nuclear deal also down below iran suspends its flights to 32 countries they're gearing up for something obviously so is the u.s so is iraq soldiers that are still in iraq region we'll get to the budget here in a second and what really matters right but this stuff is still important tensions are a little high right now the international coalition we have reduced the number of our soldiers and the iraqi forces no longer need training which is a good thing i think the iraqi military has come a long ways they used to shoot and scoot and run away when bullets would fly when being trained by nato and the u.s forces and hopefully that's true that iraq can stand up for themselves we need that and then there's this headline nato forces does not exceed 400 soldiers and they're there for training only so when are they going to vote on the budget hopefully at the end of this coming week so the end of the first week in march today is sunday the regional government announces its condition in the budget and reveals the latest results negotiations with baghdad this statement we will not accept any unconstitutional solutions imposed on the region but there are solutions in the fiscal budget for 2021 that will satisf satisfy both parties they must be so and applicable and within the framework of the constitution P i said this in the last video we, we read an article the Kurdistan region, they're not happy with the way the GOI has been handling the Constitution. I think there's just trust issues and they want their own. They want to feel good about the their percentage from the budget coming to them. I don't think they like the 12.67, I believe it is. What's in the budget? What are the most important articles and paragraphs that have been included in the 21 budget? Well, here they are. They're 1 through 12. I'm not going to read them all today. You can find them for sure, but it's nothing that you are really looking for that's going to like just bust open and be like, aha, that's it. Border crossings, February revenues amounted to 90 billion dinars after the tightening of procedures. This is good as far as corruption, getting a handle on corruption and the money that's slipping through the cracks and going into the wrong hands. This is the revenue. They got tightened it up. The Joint Economic Committee, economics relations between Iran and Iraq are growing rapidly. From agriculture to oil fields, building dams, electricity, water equipment, tourism field. Expressing hope and continuing vigorously exporting Iran products to all neighboring countries, especially Iraq. So I'm going to switch over here to Al-Farat news.com will open tomorrow at the most complex oil project well they are neighbors why not also worth mentioning iraq has over 55 billion dollars in cash reserves which is a great news i just didn't find the article here it came out i told everybody on my telegram group about this yesterday so if you haven't joined my telegram group i'll put it down in the link below in the description if you want to join or it's down in the comments pin link as well thanks for being on this rapid bite sized video for iraq and we'll see you on the next one stay tuned and have a great weekend